As an urban design graduate with an interest in history, this should be fine, right? This should go totally fine. If it, if you ignore it, it doesn't exist. People are not starving. Nope. <laughs> Dung is a resource here. Yeah. Fuck. Anyways, today we're playing Manalorge, which means we're going to be building the village of our dreams. Now, I do have to mention that I am, as far as I'm aware, playing in a pre-release version, which means that it might be slightly different from the full release. Anyways, let's get started. So, I already had a bit of a trial run, so that's why I have a coat of arms already, because I found out, oh yeah, the symbols, there's a fucking squirrel. So, of course, I choose the squirrel. The purple background, uh, I just like purple. There's no bigger meaning behind that. When it comes to the settings, I just went restoring the piece and three bandit camps because why not? There's also like rise to prosperity and on the edge, basically no enemies. Fuck ton of enemies. We're going right in the middle because I'm a dumbass and this video will most likely end with the village on fire, everybody starving or freezing to death and poison in the madhouse or mostly editing poison because i have no idea how long these videos are going to be it might be two seasons it might be a year i don't know all i know is that if this video doesn't end with editing poison being rode off into the sunset towards a mental asylum then I don't ha have done my job correctly. Also, that sentence was not correctly. What is correctly is if you hit the subscribe and like button. Anyways, let's get started. Where are we? We're in a field somewhere with a tree. Goldhoff. All right. So, Amelie, pause the game because I know how your survival village building games go. If I don't pause it immediately, you guys are all just going to starve. Anyways. Let's kind of check out where we are. So we have homeless people tents. Some supplies. 20 bread, 20 firewood, 20 stone, 10 tools. All right. Wild animals. Berry deposits. Stone deposit, clay deposits. And a rich iron deposit. And a trade point. All right. Gold off. We have five homeless people now again i did do, do a trial run of the game so i kind of know what to do so i also know that if you don't start farming immediately eh, you're not going to be farming the first year so we might want to start that off immediately but anyways let's kind of you know look around so we are in gold half this view shows you which regions are under whose control you can press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence all right so with the setting or the setup for this scenario i have one enemy which uh, i can already see is right to the left of us i think it's i mean th these are the outlaws so hildebold von baronite is our enemy right to the left of us i don't know if they are going to be attacking us i do know that Again, I did a trial run, and what happened then, and why that isn't the video that you're seeing right now, is because I got robbed blind by outlaws. I had no food, and everybody starved. But anyways, so... We have Hilda Bolt <laughs> to the left of us. We have Brigands to the right, and to the south. We have... Great, so I decided, oh yeah, let's have three Brigand camps. I didn't know that they were going to surround us immediately. But Goldhoff, he controls Hofstetten and Selbitz. Nusloa. I mean, I can pronounce Waldbrand. Immenroot. Eichenhaup. Uh, I don't know. Zwei out. Alright, anyway, so... We are in Goldhof, which I think, looking at all of the other names, is probably the best place, because that's the one that I can actually pronounce. Well, it's that and Waldbrand. It would be funny if Waldbrand is the one that I mispronounce. But, so we have a rich iron deposit, south of us has a rich iron deposit, and east of us has a rich clay deposit. Alright, let's... Uh, 
build something. Some workplaces allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off road is extremely slow. Anyone who has played Valheim knows this all too well. If you have ever gone through the dark forest being chased by Graylings, I think they're called. It's been a very long time since I played Valheim. But if you ever went through the Black Forest or the Dark Forest and uh, got chased by Graylings or the Dwarves, Grey Dwarves I think it's actually called, uh, you want a road then. But yeah, however, pulling a hard handcart off road is extremely slow, so make sure to connect your buildings to roads. Alright. So, I know a little bit, like a teeny tiny bit, about village building survival games. So, I know we need food, we need building materials. And as I said for the third time now, we also might want to start farming early. Because it's March now, and in autumn we start harvesting. So, if I don't get the crops in right now, it means that we won't have any crops this year. Anyways, so, I'll, oh. Every region in Manolorge has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits, we already did that, as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. So, the strength is that we have a rich iron deposit far from our starting point. Alright, so let's look at the other things. Underground water. So this is presumably where I will be able to put my well, which is somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I, can't, I can only put it on the places where there's underground water, which makes sense. Emmer fertility? I have no idea what emmer is. It's probably some kind of crop, like maybe some kind of grain, but emmer in Dutch is buckets. So we're just going to be planting buckets is what I like to think. Then we have flax. Um, I mean, it's a pretty fertile area for flax. I mean, Emmer is just completely green except for here. Yeah, he's not going to be planting a lot of buckets, is he? Well, maybe he is, because this is his other area that he owns. Or that our enemy owns. We can also plant a lot of barley. Is there anything that's not green when it comes to rye? Smell and fire acid are work in process, but according to this, uh, we smell great. And I will not stand for the slander that people in medieval times didn't bathe. They did in a sort of way. If you had access to clean water, you probably did. Because people had nostrils back then. They could smell. But anyway, so as I said, we probably want to get some farming going. But first off, we want building materials. So we want a logging camp. Probably close to, like, the trees, because, I mean, makes sense. So I have a building there. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Nice. And timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Oh, here's our ox. The level of detail in this game, though, is astonishing. Like, this looks so pretty. And this game doesn't have... Well, it's nice that it's so pretty. But, like, comparing it to another game I recently played, this game looks far prettier. <laughs> and this game is not supposed to be completely first person. Although you can actually go in visit mode, which lets you walk around the town in third person mode. Why? Because the developer basically said yes to do I want quality and quantity. Like the developer of this game is a madman. Anyways, the game already said that we needed fuel and food as far as I know. So we also need firewood, so let's just place that next to it. And then we have some animals here, so we're going to... But, well, first a road, because we also have berries here. So let's put a road down here and just go like this. And we have a tidy road. And we're just going to... Where's the road? 
That's the only thing. I can't see the road in the... Is it here? It, uh, yeah, there's the road. Alright, so... Place the hunter there so that it has access to that. I could already build a forager's hut. But the thing is, we have five families. As far... Yeah, five families. And every family gets assigned to, like, one building. So, the logging camp is going to have one family. Woodcutter's lodge. But then when it comes to farming... And again, this is all because of the trial run where everybody starved. I know that for a field you need one family. And then because grain is so far the first thing that you're going to be able to farm, you then also need a windmill and you need a bakery. All of these require families, so that's three families already. So the idea is that in... Well, in spring and summer, everybody works on the fields. And then in winter, I turn the fields off because, of course, nobody's going to be working then. And set it all on the hunter and such. But I do want the hunter ready by that point. So let's start building some more roads and stuff. So let's have a well. And let's have it here, because then we can actually make like a kind of market square here, because makes sense. Most places like towns and such would be at like the crossroads or the junction of a road. And this is the junction of one road going into a junction of another road. And also it's close to the river. So this is truly Goldhof. Like there's so many junctions of roads here that this would be the ideal place for a village. So let's build a well here to kind of have a bit of like a starting point of our village. Now you don't need a well right off the bat, but I just like it. And then let's just make this road a little bit longer and connect it back to the road here. Like have this be a kind of side road. Like this is the village and then, I mean, it just looks nice. And it gives a little bit of shape to the village because here's the thing. I want this to be nice looking, which means I want to avoid making squares. So placing as many random roads like I could, I mean saving, but I could also just immediately do this. But I don't want to do that because meh, I could do the, the, uh, this and then have a little bit of a boundary. I mean, roads don't cost anything, so I can just do shit here. <laughs> so, let's just uh, place like a little boundary of the village, following that like height line. And now we have a little bit of like a starting area for the village. And let's build some houses immediately. We're going very fast right now, I recognize. Like we're 11 minutes in and I'm just like, oh yeah, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and this. Which is all because of a trial run. I know what I need to do right now to get it started and not have the village be burning and starving by the end of it. Now, when it comes to houses, some buildings have flexible borders, place four points to designate an area. This is what I would have loved in City Skylines. Because this makes it so that you can make really organic looking villages and towns. Instead of in City Skylines where you had squares so let's start building a few houses now every house has a single family so we have five families so we need five houses and the first line is the front door although you can change this later so let's just uh do uh, let's make it look a little bit like this i have no idea what like the extra bits at the back are though gonna make it a little bit longer then and let's see what happens ah, do i want this sure so we have two houses there I want some houses here. And we can have a marketplace here. So. 
Well, I don't have enough wood. Anyways, in the meantime, also let's get some farming going. This is also why I wanted this road here, because then we can just... If I do this correctly... I have no idea how the mechanics of this works, but it's really nice that it just follows roads. So... There... And... There... And... I think... No. I think the tooltip hasn't shown... No, the tooltip hasn't shown up or I have no shorter memory. But I do know that it needs to be kind of like the size of one Morgan. Which I don't know how... Like, how, what is the size of one Morgan? I mean, it says they're in the game, but I have no idea what the size of one Morgan is. If anyone knows this in the comments, let me know. Alright, so we have a first field. Oh. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the fields set per priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types or even better, leaving the fields fallow for a year. Fallow means... You basically leave it barren. Like if you had any livestock and you had, well, to try and properly explain it, if you had like three fields, you would use two of them with like different crops and then you would leave the third field barren. If you had any like animals, you would have them graze on the field so that basically their manure would fertilize the field again. And also just because it's not being used, it slowly regenerates its fertility. So that's what fallow means or at least that's how i was taught how they used it so we need a farmhouse although we don't have any stuff now i want a farmhouse there but i can't build it because we need that long game so let's put that on high and also forgot to unpause the game so nothing was being built <laughs> yeah i want that logging camp first because we need to build a lot right now like, we have no time to waste. We need to build. We need to get going, because I don't want to starve. Where... There it is. Like, I like, again, the amount of detail in this game. Like, you can see the logs being transported. And that's a big boy. Big cow. Or oxen. We are poisoned. Uh, the game was trying to name us after a ox. Nice. We have no farmers. I know we don't have any wood. We also have a message. I've heard of your renown. As a dumbass? I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. Signed and sealed by my own seal, Hildebrand from Baronite. Right back. Uh, you have no rightful claim to sell bits in Hofstetten. With the state that we're in right now, probably don't want to piss him off already. Like, we have barely built anything. But yeah, I don't think I've gone into this, but like, the entire goal is to just take over his lands. But right now, we probably don't want to piss him off because we have nothing. We have one field. Nothing else. So we really need to speed up this stuff. There we go. And now, select it and assign a family whenever you would like to start production. So, assign one family. Because as I said, we need to distribute the families right now because we need fuel for the houses we need to build a farmhouse and like all of these buildings require at least one family to operate otherwise they don't do shit so let's hopefully get everything going all right they're working on the fuel first Let's have a family in there immediately.
And they're also building a house. Which is also just nice, like, right now we're waiting for things to get built and you can just zone out and just look and see it being built. Although I uh, am impatient, so I'm going to do this on fast speed. Big boy. But it's nice to just watch and just see it all being built. Oh, we need a market stall. Alright, um, there, marketplace. Uh, so, and nine market stall locations, that sounds about fine. Supply and demand, all well supplied, mar uh, so, a well supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space on the market. How? Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgers plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. We have a field here, we need more construction materials. So, first off, I mean we have a camp there, it's spring, so they're not going to freeze to death right now, so we're first going to get the farmhouse going. Do I want it here or do I want it here? Here. Because then it's closer to the village. Eventually you can move this stuff. Like I'm probably going to move this uh, ox over here. So that's just all closer. We have the first few houses. Nice. New mercenary companies available. Uh, we have nothing. Why would I need mercenaries when I barely got not even a village? It's not even a hamlet. It's two houses. And now we need this. We also need that hunter just to have like supplies in the meantime when this gets started. Because right now we don't need a mill. We only need a mill in like fall when the field gets harvested. So we need... Barley. Or not barley, we need wheat. That's 56% fertility. Ah, uh, that's fine. As long as we get something. Again, it's just so satisfying to see it being built. Even though I do it on super speed, but then I play a lot of games just on this speed, and I'm totally fine. Alright, one family. So we have one family here, one family here, and one family here. So in the meantime, I can actually put two here until the oh the hunting camp's also finished. Oh, but I need an. Uh, we're going to wait with the hunting camp for a bit because we need more houses at the same time as well. We have fourteen woods, which means we can do a lot of shit. So we're going to. Build a road and just connect the road to the farmhouse here to the side. Uh, what's happening? Not enough supplies. We don't have food. All right. Um, where's that hunting? There. Saving finished. And take one over from there and just build more houses. Alright, let's just do this in two parts. So then we have this. Uh, we can make this smaller. And then we can have this. Plot is too small. There. Yeah, we have some like big size houses. And all of these are going to be built and hopefully also attract another family because we definitely need them. Oh, the field's being worked. Nice. Hopefully this gets done before everything.
All right, now it's just waiting for things to get built. And also we need a storehouse and a granary. But we first need a bit more houses. It's a nice peaceful village. I can lay down some more roads. Don't know why the road wants to do that there. We're going to ignore it. That's the answer to all of your problems is just ignore it. If you ignore it, it doesn't exist. I want more houses. Again, this is for me such a relaxing game of just like, yeah, houses. Nice houses. Then we need a house here, but then hunger. Oh, if it if you ignore it, it doesn't exist. People are not starving. Nope. We're just building more houses. So. We have uh, no food. Come on, Hunter, where are you? Waiting and waiting. Why are you all waiting? Burn field. Uh, yeah, probably don't want to do that. I really hope that we are going to get some stuff. Huh? A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Let's run the militia. So this is where in the trial run it started going wrong, because I was constantly raided for supplies. So, uh... Create new units. We have spears and I think that and shields. So spear militia is probably the one way to go. The male villagers will be evenly distrib distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villagers' residential level. Basically, if you're wealthier, like if your village is wealthier, your men will have better armor, which makes sense because people historically had to buy their own armor. Yes, it also means that during battles, you would loot the corpses of your enemies. Some games, when it comes to like looting and such, are actually quite historically accurate. <laughs> After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the units recruits or the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. All right. So we'll have to wait until things, you know, get settled a bit. Also, I hope I don't have to use this, this episode right now. Like, I don't want a corpse spirit right now, but we are starving. That hunter better bring in some food. We have fuel for one month. I mean, we don't need a logging camp right now, so maybe I should set it so that they go over to that. So that we have a little bit more food, hopefully. I think we have one... F Wait, do we have six families now? No, we have five. Oh, we just have six houses. Seven. I just want to build a village. And that means building a lot of houses right now. And hopefully eventually they will get settled. Construct. Ooh. Oh, that's what that empty space was. I can have a vegetable cart and a chicken coop or... I mean... Chicken coop, of course. Do I have the stuff for it, actually? 
I have no idea. We are just going to see what happens, I guess. There's somebody living in here, so... Oh, we have food! Yes! For one month. And now we have eight houses, even though we have only five families. Yeah, chicken coop! So hopefully this will also help with the food situation. Because we have only food enough for one month. So... Uh... What, what is... I think it's coins. Is this coins regional wealth? Uh... Let's keep an eye on that and... Have a vegetable. Yep, that, that's... That's it, alright. So I can't add more. But now we have a chicken coop and a vegetable garden. Now I understand the game. It only took me 30 minutes and a trial run to figure out, oh, you can actually have farms on there. Although that only works with a larger. All right. We just need a lot of food now. All right, they are done with the harvesting, so crop growth is now. Are they just not doing anything now? Yeah, they're just waiting. Uh, show workplace. Uh, here's the thing. I don't... I don't know if I need to keep them assigned to here. Otherwise, I would assign them to, like, uh, get more timber and such. I could also have a church. I would, I would then move the granary probably so that the church is in the center. Because that just makes a lot more sense. We also have a set places on in order to settle it. Grants base starting supplies and five starting families. Ah, oh, so I can use that to like claim these areas. Alright, I just snapped to the edge of the map. And we have a little bit of a village going. Again, I really don't want a corpse pit right now. But it's just looking at me. So we have... Wait, we have one unassigned family as far as I'm aware now. Yeah, one unassigned. And we have nothing building going on. So just... Have it so that these people get those supplies in. New mercenary companies available. They haven't started raiding me yet. Ooh, field is growing in. Nice. I want more fields. Like eventually it makes sense to have just like a border of fields going along this. I want to call it a river, but it's more a creek. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that it's like beginning to become fall. Fuck it! <laughs> well, uh, I just said, oh yeah, we're not getting raided. Uh, they just stole. I mean, I don't care that they took hides and I don't care that they took woods. Uh, I got, that's not really important. It's that we don't have food. If they start stealing our food, then I'm going to be pissed. Also, next month, they should be harvesting this field, so I should also get a windmill ready. I would really love actually to have it here in the center. But let's place it here, let's have it facing. Here, wind efficiency. Oh, here is the best. And yeah, you don't want to place this into a forest. But here near the river, that's fine. I just wanted to face the river. That's the closest I can get before it starts snapping. There. And then... You just do this. And then I should have won... They are just waiting, so we're just going to do that. Build that windmill and then afterwards the communal oven, which is a 
tiny thing, actually. Can we just uh, place that here? I want a tree. I think... Yes, the tree remains. Yes. I want the trees in the village. And I have no idea if trees will eventually grow just in here. Yeah. Good tree. You're blocking the road, but good tree. It's also just like one log per run. Again, I love this game so far. Even though I'm a dumbass, they keep telling me, oh yeah, there's new mercenary companies available. Yeah, but uh, what can I do with that? How many do I have at the hunter right now? Let's take one away so that these things get... Uh, and have that. Because I have no idea how long it takes to harvest this thing. It makes sense to just like take one from the hunter away from the field. Or onto the field. Does anyone sometimes just lose the just ideas or just the complete sense of the English language midway through a sentence? Is that just me? But hey, if you like it so far and you like the chaos. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, because likes equal numbers. Numbers make YouTube happy, because numbers equal engagement. Yeah. Also, the, the idea of like a communal oven. Again, historically accurate. People wouldn't have their own ovens, or at least farmers and such. So it makes sense. That a village would just have a communal oven where everybody's bed or bread get baked. Ooh. Again, it's really satisfying to just see it being built and hopefully um, not get raided. Because we're not going to survive winter otherwise. And so as soon as this field is done, I don't know. Uh, is it har harvest process? Oh, they're plowing it. Tree wheat. I don't know how much we're going to be able to do with that. Dung is a resource here. <laughs> Which is nice. Fuck. They stole our wheat! Can I... I want to destroy them. But there are so many. Oh, I zoomed too far out. Uh. All right, so sewing is in progress. All right, sewing is done. I'm going to take these away. Take one on here and another on here. Because we need a lot of boats. And I don't know if we're going to have any bread. According to this we have. I think. We had food, so now it's gone immediately. Oh, you can see the bread! And the meats and the fuck. Again, it's tiny little details. Whenever the developer looked at this game and was just like, 
How many details do we need? All of them. So are we going? I mean, we have food enough for two months, and I assume that the hunter is going to work through the winter, so we might be able to survive winter. Anyways, let's see about this visit mode. I have a glorious beard if I only looked at the camera. I have a glorious beard and somehow I'm blonde. Ooh, can I... Yeah, I can run around. I have a fancy cape, I have a fancy hat. I am living the life, you fucking peasants. I like your hat as well. We're hat brothers now. But you don't have a cape, like me. This is, as the, it already said, this is an... Is a beta mode. mode. So there's a little bit of clipping when it comes to the clothes. But like, just the idea that you can just walk around here. Can I just go into her? Yes! Yeah, there's... I was... I can't jump. I can walk over chickens, I think. Yes. I can walk over chickens. Like, just the idea that you can just run around your village is amazing. I think that's uh, outhouse. But I, I was thinking like, oh, can we go inside? But, I mean, makes sense that there's a limit. Because I think if we could go inside of the houses, that would be insane. Also, you just see like Villagers talking when they don't have anything to do, or just standing. You also have a nice hat. Nice hats everywhere. Anyways, if you have a nice hat, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we will hopefully survive winter. I'm just going to pet Big Boy, who the game wanted to name after me, even though I changed it, because we're not going to be named Toman. Cows are basically, or oxen are basically like big dogs that don't realize that they are huge and could trample you. Anyways, that's it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.